Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, OnePlus have started rolling out a new Oxygen OS 14 open beta build. And in this build, we did discover some new features and changes. So we'll talk about every change. What do you get to see on this latest build of Oxygen OS 14, which is beta 4. And now without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I have my OnePlus 11. So I've already updated the device to latest build. I received the OTA update on my device. As you can see, it says Oxygen OS 14 beta version is 4 actually. Here you can see Android version is 14 and we have 5th October 2023 security patch. Talking about the version, version is .114. As said, I received this update via OTA and the update size was 815 MB over beta 3. And guys, we created a poll about the in-depth review of Oxygen OS 14 beta 3. But now we have beta 4. I'll hold the review of beta 3 and I'll take your, all your questions in the beta 4 in-depth review video. And this is going to be the last open beta for OnePlus 11. Next, we'll be getting the stable build. Let's also take a look at the benchmark results and we'll compare it with the previous build. So here are the results and everything was performed in high performance mode. So here you can see the results towards the left hand side. These are results which we took on previous build and there is not much of difference. Those slightly higher results were seen on previous build compared to newer build. Talking about throttling issues, so that seems to be improved on this latest build where you can see maximum CPU throttled up to 70%. And on previous build, it only throttled up to 51%. And now before moving ahead, if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Soon you install this latest build, you'll see a noticeable change in the quick setting tiles. And that noticeable change is removal of music tile from the quick setting panel. So if you guys remember previously, OnePlus did add a music tile here and we did not have any kind of option to remove that. You can see that on OnePlus 10 Pro. Even if the music is not being played, we still have this music tile. But that was a temporary bug which OnePlus have fixed. Another change, what you'll see and that's in the status bar. So if you closely look at both the builds here on OnePlus 10 Pro, you can see and on OnePlus 11, now the clock text and the battery percentage text is bit bolder compared to previous one. So this is another change and another new add-on what OnePlus have done and that's ability to extract text from the application. So for example, I'll open up the Instagram application and if I take a screenshot here, you will see a new option called extract content. So AI will automatically select the text and if you guys want to select it manually, that can also be done. Once you select that, you'll have an option to save the file to doc or save to notes. So if you save to file doc, here you can see, you can directly access the text from the doc. And the same way you can also extract the text and place it in the notes or you can save it in the notes. So this is another add-on which OnePlus have done and you can easily trigger it by just pressing the volume down and the power key together or you can also use the three finger screenshot gesture. The content extractor only will appear in the applications not on the home screen. I'll show you another example. For example, let's open up the weather application. I'll take a screenshot and here you can see now again we have an option of extract content. After that previously if you guys have been following me or if you guys have seen our videos then in past we also got a similar feature like dynamic island which was introduced with i think beta 2 but beta 3 they removed it with the clock application but now after this update it's again back so for example if i start the timer and close the application here you can see now we have a similar stuff like dynamic island and the animations are a lot improved compared to the initial release this works with the clock application zomato and even with screen recorder so these are new add-ons what we get to see on this latest build. Now let me show you the change logs first and let's see what all fixes they have done. And here you can see the change logs which are layered to system and camera application. According to the first change log they say they have fixed some random issues which people were facing while unlocking the device using face unlock. I personally never had any kind of issues related to face unlock. For me it always worked fine. And then they did fix some transition issues with some particular applications. So yes slight issues were to be seen on the previous build but now I think animations are a lot improved on this latest build. For the camera, they have fixed the issue wherein screen might go black when switching between the front camera and rear camera. So that's also not an issue on this latest build. You can see transitions are quite smooth and everything seems to be working fine. So guys, these were all the changes what we noticed on the latest build of Oxygen OS 14, which is beta 4. Soon I'll be dropping the full in-depth review. So if you guys have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God.